10 Strange Deep Sea Photos Explained. Number 10. Suicide Squid. In 2012, several thousand Humboldt squid washed up along the shoreline of Santa Cruz. A 12-mile stretch of coastline was littered with squid carcasses, and experts were at a loss as to why the animals were committing suicide en masse. The animals, which can grow up to 100 pounds and measure 6 feet long, were thought to have possibly ingested something that might have altered their behavior. One theory suggested the animals had eaten algae that was toxic, and that may have disoriented them, causing them to swim on the shore and beach themselves. Although scientists discovered trace amounts of a toxin produced by the algae called domoic acid in some of the beached whales, findings were inconclusive. Number 9. Mystery Creature A strange creature was discovered floating in the deep sea that made people wonder if it was some kind of alien. It was an enormous deep sea jellyfish that's thought to be widespread throughout the world but is rarely seen. In the last 110 years, only 115 sightings have been reported. This jellyfish has no tentacles. Instead, it has four arms that can extend up to 10 meters long that it uses to catch its prey. The creature is known as Stygiomedusa gigantea and was photographed by a remote-operated underwater vehicle in the Gulf of Mexico in 2015. Number 8. Bleached Coral. Could this be albino coral. No, nope, it's the effect that coral bleaching has had upon Australia's Great Barrier Reef. Coral bleaching occurs when environmental conditions take a turn for the abnormal, such as when sea temperatures become warmer. The warmer temperatures cause an effect called thermal stress, and that causes the corals to release tiny algae, which live inside their tissues. The tiny algae actually provide the corals the majority of their color and food as well in the form of carbohydrates. As you can see in some of the photos, the effect causes the coral to appear bleached white, but it's the coral's bright white skeleton that is exposed after the algae have been expelled. Healthy corals are usually khaki green or brown in color, and not only the corals are affected. Also, hundreds of species of fish that feed on corals could be adversely affected as well. Researchers think that as climate changes continue, Coral bleaching could become a more frequent event and more severe. Number seven. These creatures look like they could be neon insects or some kind of unknown species of fearsome deep sea creature, but they're actually plankton, the microscopic organisms that float or drift in freshwater or in the seas. They're comprised of protozoans, small crustaceans, and the larvae of larger animals. In pictures by Dr. Richard Kirby, a marine scientist, you can see just how amazing these creatures appear up close. This vicious looking creature is actually the planktonic larvae of a nut crab called Ebalia, which will reach 12 millimeters at its largest. It appears to have eyes looking right at you, and its lower mouth contains some sort of spiky looking teeth at the bottom. Many animals, such as baleen whales, filter the water and feed on plankton, and ecosystems of the tiny organisms can play a part in regulating the ocean's carbon cycle. But as sea temperatures increase as a result of rising global temperatures, the plankton's habitat could be altered, resulting in changes to their distributions and abundance. Number six, under the reef. So let's head back to Australia's Great Barrier Reef for this one. Actually, we're heading under the reef. Researchers came away with some incredible pictures of deep sea creatures when high-tech cameras were able to examine environments some 1,500 meters or nearly 5,000 feet below the surface. Scary looking deep sea anglerfish, swarms of crustaceans, and deep sea jellyfish known as atolla were among the many strange forms of ocean life found over the course of the 10-day research project. Number five. When this bizarre looking deep sea creature washed up on a New Zealand beach earlier in 2016, people didn't know what to make of it. The 13 foot animal's disturbing black dinner plate sized eyes and humped back gave a few tourists quite a shock, but some maintained the composure long enough to take pictures of the creature, or with the creature in some cases. While this animal may have unusual looks, it's not exactly an unusual creature. It's a big eye thresher shark, known to hunt offshore, but are rarely observed close to beaches. The animal Animals use the long tail to stun prey, but aren't considered a threat to humans. There are three species of thresher shark, and all have been listed as vulnerable to extinction since 2007. Number 4. 
Acorn Worm, a six-week research project in 2010 set out to investigate marine life forms along the mid-Atlantic ridge. It's a subpolar front where warm waters from the south meet cold waters from the Gulf Stream. The exploration yielded a vast array of sea life and many potential new species. This acorn worm, also known as Anteropneus hematodate. You know, I think I'll just call it the acorn worm from now on. Anyway, this animal was photographed with a remote operated vehicle, which located the creature using its adhesive tentacles to attach itself to the seafloor. The picture by David Shale almost looks like the worm could be a flower blossoming from its stem underwater. Acorn worms are invertebrates that can survive at depths of 10,000 feet below the ocean surface. Number three. Deep sea anemone. Does it look like a trap is waiting to be sprung? Like if you get too close to the center of this thing, those tentacles will suddenly rise up and imprison you? Well, you're not far wrong, actually. Say hello to the sea anemone, an invertebrate carnivore named after the terrestrial anemone flower due to the perceived resemblance. They spend most of the time attached to rocks on the sea floor. They'll also attach themselves to coral reefs waiting for fish to pass by. Those tentacles are actually filled with venom, which will paralyze prey, the anemone in snares. While most anemones are harmless to humans, certain highly toxic species are potentially lethal. Did you know that depending on the species of anemone, they can live more than 50 years? Number two, Big Red. Bet you wouldn't guess, this is a jellyfish. This relatively new species was discovered in the Pacific Ocean in 2003, but was first spotted 10 years earlier. Only 23 members of this species have been found, with only a very small specimen acquired for study. The creatures are known to grow up to 30 inches in diameter and live at ocean depths of nearly 5,000 feet. Because they live at such extreme depths, remote operated submarines were used to take pictures and high resolution videos of the creatures. What really makes them distinct from other species of jellyfish is the lack of long tentacles. This creature has four to seven thick, fleshy arms it uses to capture food and eat. While scientists know the jellyfish is red all over, it could take a while before researchers can uncover more information pertaining to the animal's food, predators, reproduction cycles, and so on. Now here's a fun fact. Researchers were originally going to call the animal Big Ugly, but it was renamed Gran Rojo, Spanish for Big Red. Number one. Think this picture of a beluga whale looks strange? Well, you know what? He sounded even stranger. This is Nock, spelled N-O-C, a whale that could actually mimic human speech. His voice was so human-like that it often fooled divers and made researchers believe the marine mammal was trying to make contact with his human friends. It's thought that Nock began making human-like sounds after hearing divers using their communication equipment underwater. After hearing Nock, scientists at the National Marine Mammal Foundation in San Diego tried to pick up more voices by building a special underwater listening platform. While Nock could be heard on the mic, the two older whales who lived with him didn't seem as eager to communicate. Sorry to say that after 30 years at the National Marine Mammal Foundation, Nock passed away in 2007. <laughs>